this video, we want to find the value of the cost function given the fixed costs and the marginal costs. So the, in this problem, we're going to find have some list of marginal costs in the, in the form of a formula, a table, a graph. Let's imagine that we have a formula in this example. So suppose C prime of Q is equal to some function. Maybe it's equal to uh, 26 Q squared minus 3 over 2 Q. And we're also going to be given the fixed costs. What is fixed costs? Well, that's C of 0. So we're given C of 0 is, uh, say, 5,000. And then we're asked to find a value of the cost function. Well, Maybe we're asked to find C of 20. So we want to know how much does it cost to make 20 units given this. These are our marginal costs given by a formula. We're also given the fixed costs. So how do I solve this? Well, this is an example of where a problem where you can use the fundamental theorem of calculus. What does the fundamental theorem of calculus say? Well, in this context, we're going to differentiate C, so that's C prime of Q. And the integral of C prime of Q from 0 to 20 is going to be equal to the difference of the values in the cost. So we know what happens when we have zero units produced. When we have 20 units produced, we want to find that. That's C of 20. We know this. And then we know C prime of Q, so we can hopefully figure out the left-hand side. So this is the kind of problem where the fundamental theorem of calculus is very useful. So the fun theorem of calculus. Okay, so um, the difference between the total difference between c of 20 and c of 0, that's the integral of c prime of q. Well, we know c prime of q, that's 26 q squared minus 3 over 2q. We integrate dq between 0 and 20. That's going to be equal to c of 20, which we don't know, but we hope to find. And then we have C of 0. C of 0 was 5,000. Okay, so we've entered all the things that we know into the fundamental theorem of calculus. This wonderful formula there. We've entered everything in. C of 0. C prime of Q was given to us by 26Q squared minus 3 over 2Q. And now we just solve for C of 20. So we multiply both sides. We add both sides. We add 5,000 to both sides here, so we get 5,000 plus the integral of 0 to 20, 26 Q squared minus 3 over 2 Q. Q. So that's it. Now, if you have a calculator, you can use a calculator to figure this out. You can use your uh, second function and your integral button. Or you can graph this function and then use your uh, calculator to figure out what this value is. And then you would add it to 5,000, and that would give you the value at C of 20. If you want to find a different value, maybe C of 10, you just replace everywhere you see a 20 with 10. And in your calculator, instead of using 20, you'd use 10, and that would give you C of 10. The 5,000 is fixed. It never changes. It's always the same in this problem. Okay, so this explains how to use the fundamental theorem of calculus to find values of a function giving the derivative and an initial value.